Well, they might as well hop in my boat so I get this net in fast. He said he's going to be the hook. Yeah, big turn! August 20th, there was 10,051. The third day was 3646. And yesterday was a blast. We had 15,080. Yeah. Wow. So those are the numbers that we're looking for because right now it's for my to pay my employees, workers and all that. It kind of scared us at the beginning there because eh? we need 400 for an hour average just to break even. So it's a blessing when we have a day like that. So you know, it, uh, it lifts our spirit up and everybody's all happy. They have a good access to, to a decent volume resource, which, which helps the project is be viable because the, the, the costs associated with setting something like this up are very, uh, are very, uh, very simple. The energy to, 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 uh, to do the harvesting, that, it, it's, it's, it's great. People cheer when boats leave and come back, and it's a really cool environment. The energy is very positive, and uh, the results reflect it. Yeah, this project's really important because it's uh, one of the most sustainable fisheries in the world is taking place right here. We have a, a very strong run of sockeye salmon coming into the Babine Lake system, and where they're harvesting, they can target just the strong runs of salmon and let the other smaller and, and weaker populations go to their spawning grounds without impacting them at all. So it's, uh, it really demonstrates uh, a truly sustainable fishery. I'd like to congratulate the community for their hard work, all the time and effort from the, the leadership. This is going to grow. A small community smokehouse is going to have to be double, double the amount I think with the with with the people living here, Tachet people, you know, we've waited long enough. So Fort Babine is the same thing. I hope that community just grows like fire.